This will be a brief tutorial on how to access my math lab from the D2L um, course shell. So you want to first go ahead to the college's website and log into the D2L Brightspace with your net ID and password. Once inside, you will want to select the course you're in. And there will be an embedded My Math Lab and Mastering Links Pearson link available for you. You want to go ahead and click there. Two options will be presented. My Math Lab All Assignments, if you want to go ahead and check your grades, you can click that link. Otherwise, generally we'll use the My Math Lab with Pearson eText Course Home. When you select that, it will take you to an overview of the My Math Lab page. So a few things to notice. There's a legend on the left hand side with a few different tabs, including the homework, quizzes and tests, uh, the grade book, a funny start here option, student success, and a few others. So in the start here option, there is an e-text available for you. So if you want to access, let's say, Chapter 1, Section 1.4, go ahead and select Chapter 1, Section 1.4. We have a few different options. The first being that you can review the multimedia e-text for this section. If you go ahead and click there, once inside, you'll have an electronic version of the textbook. It'll take you to the first page of that section. You can zoom in and out and turn the pages. You can even look at two at the same time, if you so desire, and jump around within the textbook to find the section you desire. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back to the main menu. And we'll go ahead and look at the homework tab. So this is a mock course. These assignments will not all be available to you, but yours will look similar. So I'm going to go ahead and select section 3.4. And I'm going to jump to question 7. So what's inside uh, the homework tab, and you're working on a specific question, there is a little drop-down arrow up at the top here that will give you access to a homework overview. You can jump around the questions without having to come back to this page. So, within that window, we have a few different options. So as I go to enter in the equation of the line, I'm going to make it outrageous. So it's incorrect. If I go ahead and check that answer, it will generally give you a kind of hint to work towards the correct answer. And again, I'll have another try. Let's say I enter this new incorrect answer. Again, incorrect, here's our hint. And this is my final check for this problem. Still got it incorrect, but it does give the correct answer and what you submitted. You're not out of all of your tries at this point. There's still two more chances to gain back the credit for this question. You'll want to go ahead and click on similar question and it'll give you a similar question. Similar setup, but different numbers. And again, you'll have three more tries within this problem. So again, it'll give you a hint, it's wrong. And let's just say we do get it right. And when it is correct, then you receive the credit back for that question. You can see it's gone from a red arrow to a green check mark. So within each problem, you have three tries. If you get all those incorrect, click a similar question. Within that set, you have another three. And additionally, if you get all of those incorrect, you can select similar exercise again and have another three attempts. Some other options with the homework. Up in the right-hand corner, there is this question help button. If you go ahead and click it, there are a few different options to help you solve these homework problems. 
If you select the Help Me Solve This option, the question that you're working on will automatically be counted wrong. You'll have to complete a similar exercise to gain back the credit. So be careful when you're selecting that because, again, it will count as one of your tries. But it will work you through step-by-step step how to solve that specific problem that you were given. And once you close, again, you'll get a similar question and you could receive the credit back. Other options. View an example. This will not count against you in your score, but it will show you a similar problem and the solution, again, walking you through step by step. And once that's through, again, now you have an attempt at your question. If you get those wrong, similar exercise, another three tries. The last option that I think is very important for online classes is this Ask My Instructor little widget. If you select it, it will send your instructor that specific question, those specific numbers that you're looking at. You can include in a, a message. I encourage you to include your name and what section you're in, what kind of class, and what you're not understanding. Don't just write in there, I don't know what needs some clarity. So go ahead and send that and it will be sent to your instructor. Also in that question help is a video tab and textbook so you can access that section quickly for more help. So when you're working on your homework assignments you want to go ahead and click save as you exit out just to keep your progress. You can always return back to the homework and to pick up where you left off jump around questions, doesn't matter. When it comes time for an exam, you want to go to the quizzes and test tab. And underneath this all quizzes and tests, your exam will be in blue, so you would have the option to select it. When that time comes, your instructor will send a password to your proctor, or if you're taking the exam here on campus, it will be provided. You go ahead and select your practice exam or your, your real exam, input that password, and take your exam. There is also a gradebook tab, so none of your grades will be posted into D2L, typically. But underneath this gradebook tool will be all of the homework assignments that you've completed and how many you've gotten correct, how long have you spent there, and when was the last time you actually worked on that assignment. And your instructor can see all of this information as well. Awesome. Now you're ready to rock with that My Math Lab system, again accessing through the D2L course shell.